Welcome, inspiring viewers. I am Mia from Massachusetts, USA. My nation and I thank you profusely for all you do to expand love, caring, peace, and joy to all beings in our beautiful planet. Today, I am privileged to invite you to journey with us to a fascinating country whose name conveys such meanings as He retains God, God is upright. A nation considered to hold the most books, museums, and orchestras per capita in the world. Moreover, its capital city is known as the vegan capital of the world. Did you guess it? Yes, we are in Tel Aviv, Israel. We are right on time for the World Vegan Day, a day that celebrates veganism and its benefits for humans, animals, and the environment. Here we'll meet a special woman who is a famed journalist, respected food critic, media personality, and strong advocate of the vegan culture, animal liberation, and of a green, healthy lifestyle, Ms. Ori Shavit. She has made tremendous contribution to the vegan movement and reached out thousands of people worldwide through TEDx Talks. My name is Ori Shavit, and uh, I'm from Tel Aviv, Israel. And uh, in the past eight years, I'm being, I've been promoting uh, veganism and vegan culinary uh, in Israel and also worldwide. So I develop recipes, plant-based recipes. I teach people how to cook vegan food. I help restaurants to add vegan dishes to their menus. Mm. I speak about veganism and vegan culinary wherever I can. And uh, I even had a, two TEDx talks about veganism. Indeed, Ori has multiple food-related talents. She is a certified chef trained in culinary arts. Her ability in writing and photography contributed to her illustrious career as a food writer. She also teaches vegan culinary arts, offers consultancies, and gives lectures. All these started from her passion for food at an early age. I remember myself as a little kid, uh, always talking about food, always um, thinking about the next meal even before I finish the first one. Uh, when I was a kid, like 12, 13, I started baking and I baked like crazy. I think like the best thing that could, could happen to someone who loves food that much and he's a foodie is that it will become his profession, that someone will pay me to eat. <laughs> I mean, this is the top. And that's how, uh, you know, eventually I went to study cooking, professionally cooking and pastry making. And at the end, I became a food writer uh, for uh, Ala Shulchan. It was the uh, biggest gastronomic magazine in Israel. That what started the food career. Through writing, Ori realized that food carries not only nutrients, but memories, emotions and traditions. I've been writing about food for many, many years before I went vegan and after I went vegan. And I think that the most amazing thing is to understand that food is not just food. Of course, it's much wider than that. And, and I really love that about food because it's a whole world, you know, it's a culture. It has its history. At the peak of her career, Ori made a life-changing decision of quitting her job to follow her conscience. What happened was that I went on a date with a guy. And then, you know, as, as you, one can expect, after five seconds, I discovered he was a vegan. Then I was still, you know, like the biggest foodie, eating everything, writing about food to the biggest gastronomic magazine in Israel. What do I have to do with a vegan guy? I mean, it's a waste of time. What am I doing here? It will never work. But we were, we were already there and I was very curious because I was a journalist, I wanted to know everything about food. So I started asking him, why, why did you decide to, to, you know, to give up all this delicious food? And then he started giving me some answers and I, you know, I was investigating a little further. You know, as a journalist, I have to make my own investigation. 
And what I found out about this industry and about how these things are really work, uh, I, was, I was shocked. I was so shocked and I said, okay, something is really wrong here and I have, I have to, to stop what I'm doing because I was not just a regular meat eater, I was promoting it by writing about it. So I stopped everything and I quit my job and I didn't know what I'm going to do. It was terrifying. But I said, okay, I love, I love my work. I love to write about food. My field of interest is food and, and my passion is around food. So I don't want to do anything else. So I open up my food blog and the rest is history. Wow. <laughs> Thoughtful viewers, we are stepping out to the park to enjoy the fresh air and green nature. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. jovial viewers, all freshened up and energized. From information to awareness to empowerment, Ori Shavit was set on transforming her life. We asked her the pathway that took her from being the most read food critic in Israel, the editor of Chefs, a website of the most famous professionals of the food industry to becoming a solo, successful vegan blogger, entrepreneur, consultant, and speaker. Everyone was really in shock because like all the food writers and, and people from the food industry and saying, ah, you know, I'm a vegan now. <laughs> it's like, I was not sure. Mm. And, and they were, everyone was in shock. But then I said, okay, can you please make me something to eat? Because there was nothing in the, on the menu, you know? Mm -hmm. We were talking about only about eight years ago. Mm. In Israel, it was a vegan desert. Mm. And then all the collaboration with the food industry started. Wow. And I started um, doing this, like, uh, one evening that we made the whole restaurant go 100% vegan. Wow. And it was like, it was never heard before. It, nobody did that. So all the, the media jumped on it. Mm. So it became like a huge, you know, uh. thing to talk about, like what happened to all these chefs starting to cook vegan food. And, uh, and that's how, that's how the, the, you know, what I call today a vegan revolution in, in Israel started, uh, at least in the culinary field, it was, um, Back then and today, it's like, you know, it's, it became mainstream. It's like everywhere. Yeah. It's amazing to be yeah. part of this change. Upon discovering the benefits of vegan nutrition, Ori Shavit was intent on influencing her family, the food industry of Israel and the whole world. First came the blog and Ori tells more on the inspiration for its title. So Vegans on Top, it's the, it's the English name, it's the URL of, of my website. And the name is in Hebrew, it's a bit, a bit different because in Hebrew, the translation would be uh, vegan girls have more fun. So I wanted to prove that if I go vegan, I will, I will not just I will have fun, I will have more fun than other girls. And to show that it could be like, you know, happy and sexy and, and lively and it, I'm not going to be like this miserable creature and so on. And when I looked for, for the English translation, uh, so I was looking for something that would, would give the same sense of like, uh, I don't know, like a teasing name, uh, but still will bring the message that vegans are, are on top. So uh, I was consulting with a good friend of mine and she came up with this idea and I said, this is it. In two years, Ori's website gained more than 80,000 views per month, and many people have followed her path to be vegan since then. In 2013, Vegans on Top was designated as the best food blog of the year by Time Out Tel Aviv magazine. Despite all the success to Ori, she simply wants to share her knowledge 
on veganism and offer helpful advice to people for a healthy life. My goal in life is actually to give people the information, give them the knowledge, uh, show them um, some parts of the, the, the big picture that we usually don't see. And I, knew, I know I had so many blind spots and I want to help people to, to reveal uh, the information and make a new choice in their lives, make them, their lives better, uh, their health better, uh, of course, to be more compassionate towards animals and also towards nature and the planet. We are honored to celebrate the World Vegan Day in Tel Aviv, along with Ori Shavit, the ever-glowing food journalist and activist who has a true passion and love for promoting veganism. Supreme Master Ching Hai, honored to present Ori Shavit the Shining World Vegan Promotion Award with all love, best wishes, and high esteem. May the Lord keep you in hair's internal embrace. For more information on Ori Shavit, please visit www.vegansontop.co.il.